What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about the highest paying jobs in Norway. I am really very interested to see how this compares to the United States, because what's successful as a career in the United States, I would imagine would make you successful in Norway, although sometimes these things do tend to be a little unexpected based on the particular nation, I suppose. I don't know, maybe there's gonna be something in here that surprises me. In the United States, you know, a lot of people who want to earn a lot of money will try to become a doctor or work in healthcare, a dentist. A whole other part of it is people trying to work in business. Um, people who become engineers and programmers and lawyers. <laughs> lawyers is a huge one in the United States. Um, if you become a lawyer, you certainly do it with an expectation of earning a lot of money if you're in the United States, but those are some of the common careers that are generally accepted in the United States to be high paying. If you go down that career path, you're gonna have a high paying salary. That's kind of how it works. Although the, the way to get super rich in America has always been to be an entrepreneur, most people agree, to start your own business, which is uh, something that a lot of Americans do. And it's very highly celebrated in America to start your own business. And that's truly how you can make the most money, I think. But that's not really a specific career, like a dentist or doctor. But anyway, I'm interested to see how that all compares to Norway and the 11 highest paid jobs in Norway. Let's take a look. Let's begin. Number 11. See, I'm starting with the last. Expert sales manager. For this profession, you will need to speak several languages. These days, two would be your minimum and three languages would be your must. In my case, Wow. Export sales manager. Um, in the United States, sales is a pretty common job. It really depends on your personality. And you can certainly make a lot of money in sales if you, but it's entirely dependent on if you do a good job. In America, how much you make in sales is directly proportional to how much you sell. So I assume that's how it is in Norway. And export sales manager sounds like working for a business in Norway that does a lot of export sales, selling things to other countries, which there's a lot of money, a lot of money involved in that. So that makes sense. I've got Russian, English and Italian. Also your experience of doing business in different countries and of course your sales skills, like your ability to close the customer, to make them buy your products without yeah. decreasing your price. If you want to know more about sales skills, personal and professional development, consider subscribing to this channel, guys. I'm at the very beginning of this process and I would love to share my development with you and do this thing together. together, together every time. Okay. <laughs> Expert sales manager in Norway okay. with the salary 938 Norwegian krona, which is equivalent to 107,286 US dollars. That's good. That's good. That's extremely good. That is well above the average American salary. Hold on a second. Boss? <laughs> Hi, boss. I'm calling you to tell you that I decided to stay in Norway forever. I just found out how much my salary is here. I'm just calling you to say goodbye, boss. Goodbye. <laughs> don't drink too much tea. I don't want to be Russian British expert anymore. I want to be Norwegian employed expert sales manager. So for that job in particular, you have to speak numerous languages, which for Norwegians, most Norwegians know English anyway. So is that enough to become a export sales manager and earn over $100,000 a year? 
it's pretty good. Let's move to the job number 10, marketing director. Marketing uh. directors are in charge for increasing business for their organization. They are directly responsible for generating new business, new customers and increasing their product awareness. Okay. Um, I would just think that it's very difficult to find a marketing director job because you can re really only have one marketing director per business. But if, if you can become a marketing director in the United States, you're going to make a lot of money. It kind of just depends on how big the business is as well. But I, I could see this one being number 10 usually globally. It's not enough just to create a great product these days. You need to know exactly all these tools and techniques, how to wrap it up and to present it to the world. It is revenue generating profession and its salary is approximately 1,300,000 Norwegian krona, which is equivalent to 148,652 US dollars. That's a lot. That is a lot of money. That is, oh, I haven't had too much experience with different marketing director salaries, but that's a little more than I thought the uh, that a marketing director would make. But again, it just kind of depends on the business. If the business is really doing very well, they can pay their marketing director really well. So I could see you making uh, twice that amount if you work at a huge company and making less if you work at a small company. Pilots? I don't think pilots are paid that well in America. If you're a commercial pilot, if you work for a, an airline, I'm not sure how much you make, but I don't think you're going to be rich. Although it does take a lot of schooling to become a pilot. If you're a private pilot with your own plane and you're flying around really wealthy people in a private business, then you could make a ton of money. Ah, this one is interesting. I did not think pi pilot would be number nine in Norway. Wow. Really? I didn't know that. Is that just for an airline pilot? Making 166000 a year? That is way more than I thought. I, if that's true, I'm amazed. Wow. Wow. Well, for one re for one thing, teachers in the United States are paid horribly. They're paid very badly, like $40,000, $50,000 a year to be a teacher, even though they have an extremely important job, one of the most important jobs in society. So it's very weird in America. And professors, they don't do too well either in America. They don't make a lot. Um... I think probably 70, 80,000. That's good. That, that's a good career salary. But for how important the job is and basically taking a lifetime to get to that position of being a professor, you probably have a master's degree or doctorate degree. Um, you certainly don't get financially rewarded very well in America. Norwegian professors are paid the eighth best on the whole list. 
Uh, is that because uh, universities in Norway, are they paid by the government? Because I know they the, the tuition is free, free education. So do Norwegian taxes and government pay the professors really well? Is that how that happens? No, 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 this is not at all what professors are paid in the United States. They can get paid. It depends on how long you've been working as a professor. You can get it. You can get it up there. You could probably make 120,000 or something when you're pretty deep into your career, but not $200,000 ever, unless you work at Harvard. Unless you work at one of the top universities, then you probably could. Right, exactly what she's saying. In, apparently in Russia, the salaries are low for pr professors. Same thing in the United States. Okay, finally, finally, a healthcare profession. These are the highest paying jobs in the United States. A lot of the time, because if you're a dentist or orthodontist, you can actually open up your own practice, your own business, and own it yourself, which is going to make you a lot more money than if you worked somewhere as an orthodontist. But anyway, yes, this is similar in America. Yeah. Really? Offices close after 4? 4? 4.30? Uh, you could probably get an orthodontist at like 5 o'clock in the United States. It's not that different, but a little longer than that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's what I would expect in the United States, maybe even more. And if you own the orthodontist business, then you could make a lot more, probably. Right.
Yeah, she's exactly right. If you can get a job where you're managing money or finances, that is going to be extremely well-paying in Norway and in the United States. And a CFO, I'm pretty sure any given business would only have one CFO. So it might be difficult to become a CFO of a company. Okay. Oh. Yeah. This is probably one of the jobs you can become the most wealthy of any job in America. Uh, I thought a lot of the time it is the founder of the company that becomes the CEO, although that's not always the case. And as far as how much you make, I think all around the world, if you're a CEO of a company, it's pretty dependent on how well the business does. You might even own stock in the company instead of getting paid, so that how well the company does directly affects how much you earn. <laughs> I would actually expect it to be more on average. 300,000, 400,000. When you're the CEO of an entire company. Uh, but it does depend. It depends on how big the company is. Hmm. Yeah, since we are talking about an entire bank, which is just money, <laughs> I would expect a bank manager would make an outrageous amount of money. In America, too. Okay, I guess that's about right in the United States, too. I would think a bank manager would make more, actually. I'm a little surprised by some of these. <laughs> okay. Lawyers, yes, okay. So that is the same uh, in Norway and the United States. In the United States, it's almost a joke at this point. If you become a lawyer, you are expected to be rich. That's basically what people think. Hmm. Yeah, lawyers are extremely expensive to get. And depending on the clients they have and where your, your lawyer firm is located, you could be a lawyer in the U.S. and earn a million dollars. You could be a millionaire if you uh, took the right clients and had the right location. Okay, that's probably, that's probably very close to the average, the average pay for a lawyer, I would think.
Uh, lawyers in the United States can earn drastically different amounts. You can earn $70,000, you can earn a million dollars. It just depends. <laughs> Judges. They're, I would expect they're paid very well. But there just aren't many judges. There's, it's extremely difficult to become a judge. So if anyone actually accomplishes that, they deserve to be paid pretty well. And they do have a ridiculously large responsibility as far as jobs go. Wow. Yeah, the knowledge. They have to know every law, basically, or at least have a extremely good idea of every law to, uh, to fulfill their job. I don't know what a judge in the United States earns. I would think it would be four or five hundred thousand dollars, but I don't really know. It's, su it's such an obscure job. It could be million, depending on where you're a judge. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This is exactly the same in the United States. If you want to be wealthy, you become a surgeon if you can. It's very competitive. Um, just because you're a doctor does not mean you'll be rich. It depends on what specialty you have. In the United States, you can be a doctor and earn $200,000, or you can be a doctor and earn $600,000, or a surgeon and earn a million dollars. And if you own your own private practice, you can earn millions of dollars. So it really has a big variety. Yeah, this is one of those jobs where you have to invest so many years in becoming a doctor and society puts a lot of value in the service that doctors and surgeons provide we kind of have no choice <laughs> we have no choice but to pay them we need that service and it's a very important one so that's uh and they can charge whatever they want if they own the business and the marketplace and all that stuff so I get why they're number one most highest paid in Norway. And here we have an impressive 3,620,000 Norwegian krona per year. Okay, I, I would say that's probably really close to the average if you averaged all the doctors and surgeons in the United States, I would think the salary would average around $400,000 as well as Norway. Which is about 413,700 US dollars. What do you think, guys? What is your favorite profession from this list? Or you already have one of those? What's your job? Please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. If you have any further questions... Okay. Interesting. Interesting. This was by Anna Goldman Business. I got to give that a like. That was a very helpful list. Exactly what I wanted. Um, most people, what are we saying here? Most people just wondering about how to get these jobs <laughs> and wondering how much other jobs make. Anyway, this was, uh, this was pretty interesting. I thought more of these jobs were going to line up with the United States, and it seemed like half of them, or 70% or of these, were the same as the U.S., but some were a little different. 
such as the sales manager, marketing director, professors. Professors was the biggest difference, for sure. Professors are not paid that much in America, which is sad. But then other things like orthodontists, CEOs, lawyers, doctors are all paid the highest in the United States as well. So I did learn something from this. There was a few differences, but I did learn some of the similarities as well. So that's good. This was perfect. I enjoyed it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video as well, feel free to give it a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway, Norwegian culture stuff in Norway, uh, that I've never seen before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching, and see you next time.